EPA Dubois Meteorologist Bobby Mortich here with your outlook for April 18th, 2024. It is Thursday. The Thursday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Kleckner & Sons Appliances. Family owned and operated, Kleckner & Sons have been serving the greater Lehigh Valley region since 1945. Kleckner & Sons are here to serve your appliance needs at two convenient locations in the Lehigh Valley 2177 MacArthur Road in Whitehall and 575 Chestnut Street in Emmaus. The leader in sales and service prides itself in providing outstanding, continuous customer service from the moment the customer steps through the door. Kleckner's provides a wide range of name brand appliances and parts to target all of your appliance needs. They offer professional delivery and installation options as well as repair services performed by in-house qualified technicians. From kitchen renovations to small specialty appliances to a new laundry repair, Kleckner's has you covered. For more information or inquiries, please contact one of the showroom locations or check out their website at klecknerandsons.com or give them a call. The phone number above me here in the video, 610-433-4202. Experience a small business difference for yourself. Shop at Kleckner and Sons Appliances, proud sponsor of the Thursday video forecast. So uh, next couple of days here, we have some showers, but not really that much. We're really not going to have that much in terms of total precipitation over the next couple of days. What you had yesterday and last night is really the bulk of this late week period as far as precipitation goes. So we'll have an opportunity for some showers mainly across our north northern areas today. That's going to be northeastern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, right up here. North and east of that line there, you have an opportunity for showers today. I think elsewhere, you're just cloudy or mostly cloudy, okay? There is a backdoor cold front that is situated across the region. It's going to give us cooler temperatures uh, northeast of that line. Southwest of there, you'll have temperatures are going to get in the 60s today. But so you see above me, temperatures spread anyway is going to be 50 to 65. 50 to 65. That's one heck of a spread across the region. But northeastern areas will be closer to the 50 southwestern areas will be closer to the 65 so we're talking about places like sussex county new jersey being near 50 and 65 in harrisburg so that's what we're looking at today with that backdoor cold front influence you can see that here on the uh, european model where that front is it's right here okay so areas up here you actually have some 40s up here in early afternoon on uh Thursday, but further southwest when you get down here uh, into uh, from State College into uh, Harrisburg into Lancaster in this corridor right here, you can get into the 60s right in there. Okay, and of course south across Delaware and Maryland will be well into the 60s. It's just that backdoor cold front influence is going to give you those uh, cooler temperatures with wind coming in from the northeast. This is all because of high pressure that's in the Gulf of Maine that's going to provide that cooler temperature. Uh, spread today okay so we get over the name high res future simulated radar we'll show this off at six o'clock in the morning you can see a few showers very few but across our northeastern areas is where the opportunity for showers exists the rest of the area should just remain cloudy or mostly cloudy can't roll out a stray shower for the southwest but it's going to be brief light and that's it okay as i move this forward you see this moves off to the north and east and out of here uh, before noon so even those areas that are getting showers today you're not going to get much okay and then once we get past this point uh, we go later in the day here nothing here nothing in the overnight nothing on friday we get late in the day there's a cold front that's coming toward us that's going to touch off a few showers again this is very very light so when we look at this mid to wake late week period and we're and we're talking about rain Everybody cringed right away, like, oh, man, we don't need any more rain. Please, go away. Well, here is uh, the actuality of what's going to happen here at the end of the week, and it's not much. It's really not. So I think we can take on a few spits here and there, uh, a few isolated light showers, and that's it through the end of the week, and then we'll be fine after that point. Once we get to the weekend, we are okay. Here's Saturday morning, nothing across the entire region. This will all occur through late afternoon Friday through part of the overnight, but that's it. And it's very little to speak of. In terms of total precipitation, this is everything you would receive between Thursday morning and Saturday morning. Again, not much activity here. Not much at all. A couple areas, or most areas here, are less than five hundredths of an inch of precipitation. So it's not much we're talking about. 
Uh, and then this is the NAM 3 kilometer, which actually overdoes precipitation. And it's really not much, even for the areas that are getting it. So a couple tents here, and that's it. And that's across our northern areas, and that is all, okay? So I think we can deal with that. Here's that uh, the European model showing the same thing, that front just falling apart here on Friday and Friday night. And then we get to Saturday morning. Uh, leftover showers are along the Jersey Shore here, but uh, looks like we are... Uh, clouds giving away to sun here on Saturday, becoming breezy in the wake of this, though, because it is going to turn cooler for Sunday. Uh, but we're looking at uh, 50, 50 to 65 today is the temperature spread, 56 to 63 on Friday. Saturday is going to be a little bit warmer than that, but then we can turn cooler again by Sunday, either side of 60 degrees for the highs with uh, intervals of clouds and sun. The next system is going to stay off to well off to our south here on Sunday, so we're not dealing with any precipitation there, just intervals of clouds and sun. And then early next week is mostly sunny on Monday. We recover in those temperatures back to the either side of the middle 60s, and then we go in the upper 60s near 70 on Tuesday ahead of our next system, and that's going to be a quick moving short wave. Again, we're in a very fast zonal flow. So everything's going to be moving fast. It's not going to be sticking around for a while. We don't have these big amped up systems going to dump two, three, four inches of rain. These are all fast moving frontal boundaries, fast moving systems, and not a lot of precipitation with them. So if we can deal with like every fourth day, you have like a little bit of shower activity that's going to be less than a quarter of an inch. Is it really that big of a deal? Probably not. And considering we started off the month very wet, we can certainly use that. And the last couple of months and, uh, you know, throughout the entire winter, it's even though we didn't get a lot of snow, we had a lot of rain, a lot of liquid equivalent. So we can certainly use the drying out. Uh, and it looks like we're going to get that here in the week ahead. So we have uh, this system coming in Tuesday night into very early Wednesday morning. Again, falling apart as it gets here and not much precipitation. So we're back to early clouds on Wednesday, giving way to uh, partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. So it looks like it's a pretty good week ahead overall. Uh, temperatures, I know everybody wants 70s or 80s or whatever, but that'll come in time. Uh, right now, let's just enjoy spring. This is actual spring weather, okay? We're going to have some ups and downs this week, but temperatures are going to be in the 60s for the most part this entire week, except for today in the areas that are going to be influenced by that backdoor cold front. But other than that, it's really not too bad, and really not too bad at all. Even the days that are uh, uh, completely dry and you have more sun than clouds, uh, it's still not going to be too bad to be outside. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for April 17th, 2024. Have a great Thursday.